Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in today to Lauren B TV. Today we're gonna to be starting a new series called Everything You Need to Know in Under Three Minutes. And each episode we're gonna pick a different topic and try to give you as much important information as possible within that time limit. For longer format videos, you can go to our YouTube page and subscribe and check out the other playlists that we have. Today we're gonna to be starting with the number one most popular diamond shape, which is oval cut diamonds. And we're gonna give you a crash course so that you have everything you need to know to purchase the perfect oval diamond. Let's get started. Popularity. Ovals are the most requested shape because they provide great finger coverage while maintaining a delicate appearance, giving you a lot of bang for your buck. Ovals have a larger length measurement than most other popular shapes. Take a look at how this two carat oval stacks up next to a round cushion radiant of the same carat weight. On average, a two carat oval from us will be close to 10 millimeters in length, which is about 20% larger than all these other shapes from top to bottom on the finger. Cut and ratio. The cut of an oval diamond is crucial. You wanna make sure it has rounded, not pointy tips, and graceful sides to give it a perfect oval outline as opposed to an egg shape. You will need to see a visual of the stone to confirm this. Also, take note of the depth percentage, which should be in the 60 to 65% range. Anything more than that will mean the stone is too deep and will look small face up. For the ratio of the diamond, that's a matter of preference, and most of our clients prefer 1.41 to 1.6 to 1. We recommend that you go for the longer ratio stones in this range to achieve more finger coverage. To get this number, divide the length by the width. You will also notice what is called a bow tie, a dark center across the middle of the stone, which is inherent in most oval and other elongated shapes due to the stretching of the facets. To minimize this effect, aim for stones that are not too shallow and have longer ratios. Quality. For color and clarity, put a focus on a higher color stone because ovals have larger surface areas and exhibit this trait more easily. You can sacrifice on the clarity to an extent as long as the diamond is eye clean and not hazy or milky. Inclusions can be hidden within its brilliant cut faceting. The general range to stay in is D to I color and VVS to SI clarity, GIA certified of course. More particularly, D to F color with SI clarity is the most popular combination and a very hot item for this shape. Take a look at this stone. Preference also plays a part here, and some people may prefer a very clean VS or higher diamond that is of the warmer color tone JKL range. Shopping. We recommend aiming for a great cut and ratio since that is what's going to give your oval diamond its appearance, and something we always provide for all our stones at Lauren B. Remember, there's no cut grade on the GR report, so you need to have visuals of the stone to ensure the cut is proper. Instead, look at the color clarity and explore the recommended ranges above from D to I color and VVS to SI clarities to see what appeals to you. For example, with a $25,000 budget, you can go for a higher end stone like this two carat E color VS, or step up to a two and a half carat stone that is H color and SI2 clarity while staying in the recommended ranges above. Natural diamond alternatives. Thus far, we've been showing natural diamonds, so let's quickly take a look at a lineup of a natural versus lab grown versus moissanite. All are two carat colorless stones. The natural and lab grown diamonds look nearly identical, but the lab grown will cost you about 50 to 60% of the price. For a natural diamond to a moissanite, you save even more, almost 90% or more in some cases but there is somewhat of a visual difference. Well, our time's up today. Hope you enjoyed this segment of everything you need to know in under three minutes. Tune in next time.